Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Ooh. Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna be doing my full face of makeup using only tiny little baby makeup products. You know the little products by the checkout that you're so tempted to buy because they're so darn cute? Well, I went to Sephora and I actually bought one of everything for each step of my makeup routine. Like look at this little baby concealer. Look at these little baby beauty sponges. The tiny eyeshadow palette, they're just so cute. But mostly I'm curious to know how these tiny little versions actually compared to the full version products if the formula is the same because I swear sometimes I try travel size products and the formula is just different sometimes I like it better sometimes I don't but we're gonna see what the real tea is today but my girl Alan Morin started this challenge and I couldn't wait to create a look using tiny products myself so all credits go to her I will leave her video link in the description and also one last thing a huge thank you to Scentbird for partnering up with your girl for today's video I'm very excited about it and you guys are gonna love it so we'll talk about that in a little bit without further ado do. Let's get right into the video. So before we get into the makeup, let me just spritz myself with some perfume so I can smell good for you guys. I know you can smell me. Oh, I smell good. Just believe me. Take my word for it. So I don't have to go to the store anymore to try on my perfumes because your girl's got Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service for perfumes. So Scentbird delivers you rollerball sized perfumes each month. They come in this little velvet bag. You take it out and then it has the custom Scentbird kind of case and you can twist that up and it pops right up in the little nozzle there. Then you press down and boop, and the perfume comes out. But you can also take the whole perfume bottle out and it has the name and what perfume that is. So this is great because you got that 30 day supply where you can test it out and see if you like it before committing to the full bottle. I don't know about you guys, but for me, perfume is such like a trial and error thing for me. And I hated perfume shopping before because you would try it in the store. You really like how it smells, but obviously the scent kind of changes depending on your skin chemistry and stuff. So you can go home and then end up hating it after a few hours. So when I realized that scent was a thing it's genius they have over 450 perfumes designer niche brands like Tom Ford Versace Prada you name it honey they have so many different brands so if you subscribe you get the one perfume a month with free shipping and it's $14.95 for whatever perfume it is that you choose you can also upgrade your account if you want more than just one perfume a month you can do two or three or you don't even have to choose only a perfume each month they have other stuff on there too bath and body products candles makeup they got makeup on there too honey so I got three perfumes and I really like floral kind of everyday flirty scents. So I got the Kat Von D Saint perfume, which I really like. And I also got the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. This one had really good ratings. So I was like, mm, I'll try it. And I'm glad I did because I love it. It's very flirty, very floral, fresh, kind of can wear it every day type of perfume. And then the last one is probably my favorite. It's the Versace Bright Crystal. And you guys can click the link in my description to get 30% off. So you're only paying $10 for your first month using my code GANY30. So the first miniature little tiny product that I have is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. You guys, check out the difference, okay? This is the full-size version. This is the little baby version. So much cuter, but let's go ahead and apply a little bit of that to hydrate my skin before we go in with the makeup. Ooh, this is definitely good if you have a lot of dry areas. Usually I only put it like around my nose when I get really dry, but today we're going all out. We're gonna have a glowy base. Next up, let's use a primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer water. This is what the full size bottle looks like and this is the travel size. So it's not too much smaller, but I love this primer and I actually had this travel size version because I take it with me usually when I go traveling, but let's use it. Ooh, refreshing. The next one, you guys are gonna die for foundation. It's just a little guy, look at him. Now I don't think they even sell this at the store as like a sample, but this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. They sent me all the shades in these little tester bottles, which I thought was very smart because obviously it's a little excessive when brands send the full size bottles of every shade. Let me put it right up to the full size bottle for you guys so you can see the difference. Isn't that insane? I love it, I love it, I love it more. Just because it's tiny. So let's go ahead and apply with the tiny little spatula applicator. I hope this is my shade. You know, this little spatula applicator is not that bad. It took a little while to get the product everywhere, but we're doing good. So now we have to blend it out. And for that, I have tiny little makeup sponges. It's a Sephora brand and it's a set of five miniature sponges. I have the big version of this one. Would you look at that? It's so much smaller, but I'm gonna use the one that resembles the beauty blender the most. And I did already get it damp with some 
water so it's expanded a lot but imagine how small it was before that it was tiny but okay I'm not too excited about this part because I feel like it's literally gonna take me forever to blend this foundation out honey this sponge is nice actually it's like the perfect density you know I think I bought the miniature beauty blenders and I was like why did I buy this it's almost the same price as the full-size beauty blender take that in and then I literally never used it and I'm pretty sure I lost both of them because they're just so small I'm like what the heck but it's just a little bit excessive 10 years later why did this look like it was my shade what is this it's so yellow I played myself okay be right back while I uh, continue to blend this for another 20 minutes so foundation is on it took a long time with this little guy oh oh and it's gone for good other than it taking a very long time it actually did a good job blending it out you just have to be more careful to make sure you're not missing any spots <laughs> I definitely would not recommend this for applying your foundation obviously you'd want to use the regular full-size sponge for that but I mean it was fun for a one-time thing for concealer I have the miniature version of the it cosmetics bye bye under eye and look how cute and tiny it is so this is the full-size version put two and two next to each other but hold up is this a joke why do they have the same amount of product in it it looks like there's literally the same amount of product in both of them they just put it in a lot smaller container I don't understand what's happening here maybe you can inform me in the comments so let's apply this little baby concealer this concealer you don't need a lot at all to begin with honestly this tiny little version of it would still last you such a long time because it's so thick and full coverage like you don't need a lot watch you think that's not a lot let's see honey boo boo it's a lot going with our miniature little blender oh yeah much better for the under eye I actually really like this for the under eye okay yes blend 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 doing a great job blending still taking a lot longer but I feel like it's good that you take your time on your under eye since it's more of a delicate area okay what bags honey I don't see any good job at cosmetics your little tiny miniature version worked just as well as the big version we love it next up is brows and look this little cute miniature brow pencil from benefit it's the precisely my brow pencil which is my favorite brow pencil from them it just looks about half the size as the full size version just lengthwise like the thickness and everything seems to be the same type of pen and let's just go ahead and do my brows I'm really not expecting anything too different with this one honestly this was my like number one brow pencil before I loved it so much but now nothing will ever replace the new Mac shape and shade brow tint that I use it's like the liquid brow pencil it gives you like a micro bladed look and this is great it's precise but these fake hairs I created at the front will fade out throughout the day so then it doesn't look as legit but the Mac one it just like stays looking like brow hairs the rest of the day and I love it now the thing with this travel one though the little baby one is you're not getting the spoolie brush on the end hmm we don't like that maybe that's why it's so tiny you don't got the extra little spoolie at the end so I'm gonna go in with another spoolie brush and just blend the product into my brows brows are looking phenomenal love it be your own hype man the full size literally is just like this much bigger and you get the spoolie so I would definitely get the full size rather than testing out the miniature one for this one this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion wait a second this looks like the big version this literally looks the same size to me okay so this is the original this is the miniature baby version version they're very close so the mini version is actually exactly half the size there's 10 milliliters in in the original and five in the baby travel size so it looks like the applicator is just shorter but the sponge is the same size on both so I like that apply that do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. feels the same I think our little miniature beauty blender is small enough to blend that up it's great for the little areas are we gonna start keeping this in my makeup routine maybe so now let's bake and set my face so I have the miniature Laura Mercy translucent powder and I love this little guy I actually purchased this a while ago for traveling just because the original is so massive but I haven't really noticed a difference in how it applies or anything so I feel like they're kind of the same formula powder so let's try and bake with this tiny little sponge I mean it fits really nicely in there I'm just gonna have to dip in a couple times to get as much powder as I want here I'm gonna mattify my t-zone because your girl's too oily this is great for the little crevices of your face I'm telling you so I'm set I'm baking we're gonna leave that on for a little bit this is definitely a product that I would recommend getting the travel size for because I feel like it actually does save you so much space but you go through it very very quickly so if you actually do like the product I would recommend investing in the bigger version so moving on to eyeshadow I have the Natasha Denona mini Lila palette and Natasha Denona if you don't know is a more luxurious expensive brand so the full size palette of this costs $129 that's a lot the full size version has 
15 shadows and this one only has five. So if you like the vibe of the full size palette, you just know you're not going to use every single shadow in it. I feel like for sure opting for the miniature cute little travel size is a good call because it's just way cheaper. So first let's go in with this shade right here. And one thing I do wish is that I had miniature eyeshadow brushes, but I could not find any. And I'm going to apply this shade as a transition color. That's really pretty. So far we've got the same Natasha Denona formula that we love. Pigmented, blending out very easily, building really well. So now let's use this purple shade right there in the crease. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see how pigmented that is? I literally barely pushed my brush down. And I'm gonna slowly blend it out. I think it's safe to say that the miniature baby version still has the same quality shadows as the full size. Now, of course, we gotta go in with that blue shade. It's just too stunning not to. So I'm gonna take that actually on my finger. It's a shimmer shade. There's only two shimmers in the palette. The rest are mattes. Let's go ahead and just dab that right on the lid right next to the purple. Okay, so now let's use this shade right there. We basically almost use every shade in the palette except for this one. I kind of think these two are very, very similar. I wish that they would have put one of the other very like vibrant shades, like maybe the pink shade there, but let's go in with that neutral champagne shimmer and put that right on the inner corner and on the inner part of the lid, blending into the blue. So now let's bring those same shadows down to the lower lash line in the same order and smoke them out. So I'm going in with that matte brown that we used as a transition shade and I'm gonna blend that all over the lower lash line and flick it outwards. Let's put that purple just on the outer corner of the lower lash line and then let's go in with the blue shade right on the inner part of the lower lash line. All right, so let's dust off that Laura Mercier powder now that we're done with those shadows, but they have literally like no fallout. I don't know how, it's magic. Those shadows are bomb. I love that little travel palette. I'm really happy that she came out with those travel size palettes because so many people can't afford the full size ones. So this is a good way to kind of get the same look for less. Next up, let's do mascara. I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. One of my favorites right now. Love this mascara so much. And the mini version is so cute. This is actually very, very tiny. It looks like the wand is the same as the full size version. Same size and everything. The only difference is this part of the wand is obviously much shorter. So let's go ahead and apply that. It's definitely applying a lot of product. Same Bad Gal Bang Mascara that we know and love. You can get right to your root. It's got nice skinny little bristles on there. Short skinny bristles. This mascara is my all time favorite for my lower lashes though. Watch what it does. Are you seeing that? They look crazy. So mascara is on. I love the baby version just as much as the full size. My lower lashes look bomb. So eyes are almost done. I'm just going to throw on some lashes. Obviously there's no tiny lashes that does not exist. So I'm just going to use these Kiss lashes in the style garters. I'm going to put those on off camera. Be right back. So eyes are done. Moving on to the rest of the face makeup and I have this NARS blush and bronzer duo little compact. My bronzing brush is bigger than the whole compact, but that's okay. Go ahead and apply the bronzer. Ooh, that's more of like a contouring shade for sure. Mm, I don't like it that much. It's a little bit too cool toned. I want more warmth to that, but it's tiny and cute. So we love the size. I'm gonna also apply that where I normally bronze around my forehead. This is just so tiny for my bronzing brush that it's hitting the blush, which I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want blush on my forehead, you know? But now let's go ahead and use the blush shade. I love NARS Orgasm Blush. It is so pretty. But again, I'm having that same kind of issue. My blush brush is usually a lot smaller than my bronzing brush, but it's still kind of hitting both the pans. So both the bronzer and the blush are on and I like how they look all together. I was kind of skeptical on the bronzer by itself, but I think it looks really pretty blended with the blush there. And I think it's worth it if you don't think that you're gonna hit pan on the smaller ones. Like if you don't use them that often or you like to switch between your other bronzers and blushes, it's smart to go for something with less product in it. So then it's not wasteful. Next up, let's do highlight. And I'm very excited about this miniature product because it's so cute. This is the Becca Moonstone highlight in the little baby version. And let me show you the original. It just looks so big next to it. And the packaging is just so slim. It's like so futuristic. This could literally fit anywhere. You could hide this in your bra. It's tiny. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever hit pan on a Becca highlight. So I feel like maybe I should start buying the little mini versions because it's probably a lot more cost efficient. Let's apply that. Yes, beautiful. I love the Becca highlighter formulas. They're just so blinding, but still very undetectable on your skin. I feel like the Becca highlight formula is 
one of the best in the game. There we go, highlights on, same blinding highlight, smaller, cuter packaging. Last up is setting spray, and I do have a miniature setting spray. This is the All Nighter from Urban Decay in the travel version. And if you want a comparison to the original, there's the original, here's the travel size. So let's apply and see if it has the same spritzer. Oh yeah sprays out the same, smells the same. So there we have it, the miniature setting spray applied. I feel like it's the same as the original. I would only opt for this one if maybe you have a lot of setting sprays and you know you're not gonna get through all the product in the original, then go for this. Last up, we have a miniature little Marc Jacobs lip set. It's the Cream and Sugar Nude Lip Trio, and I love a nude lip, and I also love Marc Jacobs lip products, so I was really stoked to find this cute little miniature version. You got a lip pencil, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, and we're gonna use all three. They're all mini and all freaking adorable. So let's apply the lip liner first. It's like a pink nude. I feel like I need a darker lip liner. Especially if you're doing a nude lipstick, you want a darker lip liner. Go ahead and use the lipstick now. That is so tiny. I'm scared I'm gonna break it. So it's literally exactly the same shade as the lip liner. That's my issue. Formula A1 as always. Now let's apply the lip gloss, which I'm most excited about. I'd probably just wear this alone to be honest. I love that. Overall, I do really like the set. I think it's very pretty convenient it all comes into one and if you like the shades go for it all right you guys so that is my full face using all of those tiny mini little makeup products I will say the only main difference for me was definitely using the tiny beauty sponge to do my foundation it just took a lot longer but everything else was relatively the same we got the same type of formulas some products I feel like it makes sense to go for the smaller version and others not really if you know you're gonna go through the product really quickly obviously these miniature items are great if you want to do a little tester before purchasing and committing to the real thing. And same goes for your perfume. If you are like that for perfume, make sure you guys do check out Scentbird and click the link in my description for 30% off your first month. Yeah. Use code GANY30. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. If you did, make sure you subscribe by clicking this button right here before you go. And then check out these other videos of mine. Just watch them. Keep on going. I have tons of videos and you're going to like them. So you should just continue to watch. You have time for one more. Go ahead. Click one of those boxes. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.